Today's video is a part two to a video I've already done on my channel before. If you guys missed it, I will link it for you down below. But back in the beginning of the year, I did a video where I tested five chafing hacks from the internet. What is my job? And I think I tested out maybe like five or six different methods for thigh chafing or chub rub or the ring of fire or whatever you want to call it. Personal hell, if you will. It is something that obviously as I gain weight and as my size changes affects my day-to-day -day comfort level a lot. And so I figured I would test out a few more methods and see how it goes. So I took some of you guys' suggestions and narrowed them down to the four most popular ways to prevent this. I'm going to take you along with me as I go out and do errands over the weekend and we're going to test a few of these different things out and see how they go. Also want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, but more about that later. We'll get into it. So I'm going to do my very best to give you like the most comprehensive thigh chafing review possible. Wow, I'm so professional. So without further ado, let's jump in and enjoy watching me suffer <laughs> through the entirety of this video. Hope you enjoy. The first one that a lot of you guys mentioned to use is the Boudreaux's butt paste. And I'm pretty sure this is a baby like diaper rash ointment. It says helps a treat and prevent diaper rash. It's free from dyes, preservatives, parabens, and talc. It says that the top ingredient is zinc oxide, which isn't that like the stuff that they used to put on people's like lifeguards noses and stuff. I might be crazy, but I'm about to put it between my legs. So <laughs> I don't know. Having a child with diaper rash is pretty painful for everyone. Well, Dr. Boudreaux, so is Chub Rub, so. Looking at my order here, it shows that this Boudreaux's butt paste diaper rash ointment, this is just the original, it's in a four ounce tube and it's $7.39 for one bottle of it. And I mean, it seems like it would last a really long time. Okay, we're gonna try this. Let's see how Boudreaux's butt paste goes. Get your butt paste ready, ladies. <sighs> I just want you guys to know that it's 111 degrees today and I'm doing this, so that's how you know I love you. So now we've reached the point in the video which I have been dreading and that is taking off my bike shorts. <laughs> this is so sad. Okay, they're off. I'm depressed. So we have our butt paste here. I just can't get over it. It is a uh, beige color, I guess you could say. Oh, this just feels wrong. I don't know why, this just feels wrong. And I, oh. Okay, it's on the floor of my car, so it's there now. That's where it lives. Let's get some more. It melts in your fingers very quickly. It kind of smells slightly vanilla-y, maybe like shea buttery, but it also kind of smells like beef jerky. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, here I go. It doesn't feel as bad as I thought. It's just like wet, greasy. Now I don't know what to do with this that's on my hands. I didn't really think this through. I'm just gonna use these bike shorts. Mm. Okay, all right, let's head to Target and we will continue to update. 12 seconds later. Driving to Target and I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Purposely parked really far back so that I would have to walk and test out this product the best I can. Because as I mentioned, it's 111 degrees outside. I can't just like go for a walk or take Layla around or stroll around the park. So I'm walking into Target and um, I'm not gonna lie, it feels greasy, but I'm not necessarily chafing. It's more of just like a drag. I don't know how to describe it. I gotta be honest, it does not feel good in between my legs right now. I mean, I've only been wearing this for less than 10 minutes and I hate it. Yep, I've made it about 10 minutes and I gotta tap out. Oh, my car is so far away. <laughs> this is torture. That was pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna give that like a two out of 10 if I were to rate it on a scale. It seemed like at first it worked fine. Like for the first 20 steps, I was great. And then I started to be in pain and now I'm like in pretty significant pain. So I would say save your $8 and just buy a pair of $8 bike shorts. <laughs> 
so far. Or maybe try one of these other products that I'm gonna try in a minute. But as for the first product, I think it was a total fail. Next, another one that you guys recommended a ton is by the brand Body Glide, and this is called Body Glide for her anti-chafe moisturizing balm. It says it's never greasy, no petroleum, no parabens, and never wet, which that's a huge one for me. If you guys watched the last video where I tried all of these different methods, my biggest thing was like it just felt really wet and greasy between my legs and it was just the worst feeling when I use like the Mega Babe and when I use the deodorant. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit better. It says that it's ideal for bust line and thighs, it's long lasting and it's sweat and water resistant. It stops chafing caused by rubbing. Why I could have used this at Disneyland last week, honestly. And this I did get at Target and it was $7.49. And I would say besides the very last one, which I will mention, this was the number one thing recommended by you guys. A lot of you guys recommended this. So we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. All right, round two, here we go. So we have the Body Glide for her, the anti-chafe moisturizing balm, this cute little thing that fits in my bag so well. I really want this to work. Okay, applying. Why does this feel so very wrong? Okay, um, not bad. Putting my legs back together, I don't have that same greasiness I did before. I mean, it's definitely, there's something there. But the last product was just straight up like petroleum jelly is what it felt like. And this is much, much better. It feels a lot less wet. It feels much more of a just like tacky or dry, I guess you would say consistency. All right, we're walking into stop number two and it feels better, I will say. However, it still doesn't feel great. So this might sound weird, but I feel like the more I walk around, the more like liquidy it's getting because it's like melting in between my legs. But I think that's like what it's supposed to do because it's supposed to prevent the chafing obviously, so it's supposed to create like a barrier. I do partly feel like it's getting worse the more I walk around because it's probably like wearing off. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's definitely a step up from the last one, but would I actually like keep it and use it in place of bike shorts or like if I needed a romper? to wear or some denim shorts or something. Probably not. This next one I'm really excited about because it was created by a fellow YouTuber. She was one of my oldest YouTube friends. So this is called Love Anybody. This is the anti-chafe stick unscented. And this was created by the YouTuber Loie Lane. I've known her since like, I don't know, 2012 on YouTube. She's the sweetest girl. I love her. And I just think this is so cool. I love seeing people in this space doing big things and like going to Target and seeing their products on the shelves. Like that's just amazing. So I did pick this up at Target. It was $7.99. It says that this anti-chafe stick is designed to proactively help reduce friction and chafing on sensitive skin, which me, me, and me. So we're gonna go about our day because I'm really rooting for this one and we're gonna see how this performs. Greetings, it is a couple days later. What? Greetings, earthlings. <laughs> Hello, couple. fellow humans. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on my way to the grocery store right now. We're actually filming two videos in one, so this is gonna be kind of confusing, but I'm very excited about this because although I am wearing a romper today, I still chafe in rompers, I chafe in shorts, unless it is literal bike shorts that go down to like halfway to my knees, I am chafing, honey. So, okay, here I go. <laughs> you like put it on your thighs? Yeah, so you rub it like this, much like a deodorant. Huh. And you, oh, it's cold. <gasps> Wait, it it's like cooling. That's all you do? Yeah, so you like put it on, I'm like letting it dry for a second, because I feel like the other ones I've not really, I've just kind of gone right in. So I'm gonna like air it out for a sec. This is, this is a look. Okay, I've taken two steps, just got out of the car, and I just told Drew it's already dried. Like, so it's not that oily, gooey, petroleum-y like feeling texture anymore. I'm genuinely shook. It just kind of feels like there's a barrier there. I haven't started really sweating yet, so I guess we'll put that to the test like once I start walking around, but so far it is like blown all the other ones out of the water. Okay, let's shop. So it's been about 10 minutes and actually I'm doing fine. I'm genuinely so shocked. This is by far the best thing that I've tried next to like bike shorts. I'm really genuinely so shook. I don't understand how this works, but it's working and I'm pretty impressed. Like zero chafing at all whatsoever. It feels just fine. Just finished up at the grocery store. I literally cannot believe how comfortable I am. It is crazy to me. I'm actually genuinely blown away. Like I'm returning all the rest of those, keeping this. This would have saved my life in a lot of situations. I give it a full 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing, love it. It's a game changer. 
I'm shook. And last but not least, this was by far the most requested, most popular product for inner thigh chafing, and this is called Bandolettes. Now, I ordered these on Amazon. I believe it was $18.49, so fairly expensive. And I don't quite understand the point of these. If you guys saw my last video, I did DIYs of this, and it was not good. And I guess I just don't really understand why you would have these instead of bike shorts, but we're gonna find out. You basically, they're inner thigh guards if you haven't heard of them. And they're just these, it smells like vinegar. Weird. And they're these little like ace bandage looking things that you put on your thighs and it has like little sticky, I'm not gonna like touch it too much, but it has like little sticky pads that help it stick to your legs and not move around everywhere. It does come in different sizes. I think it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, and I think I got like a C or a D. I did measure my legs, but I can't remember right off the top of my head, so I'll put it in the description when I link it, but it's just these two little guys. <laughs> And you just slap them on your legs and hope for the best. I don't see how these wouldn't move around so much, but I'm gonna trust the process. These do no lie. Smell like straight up vinegar. Like I just opened a bottle of apple cider vinegar. I don't know, but I'm gonna trust you guys' opinion and suggestions and we're gonna put these to the test. So let's see how these last ones perform. It is the next day and I am finally, over the course of three days, I am finally trying the final chafing method. We're gonna slap these babies on my thighs and we're gonna go thrifting, which if you guys didn't know is a ton of walking around. I'm out at the thrift store usually for like two, three hours. So I'm assuming you just hike it up to where you would normally put your bike shorts. Okay, I mean, it's in place. Really hope this isn't a disaster and I'm like messing with these all day long. Ugh. All right, so without showing too much, this is what they look like. It's the exact same look as if I were to wear my bike shorts, but just with nothing on top. We will see how this performs during the course of my thrifting, but so far it's not moving. Fingers crossed for me. Okay, it's only been like two minutes since I walked into the store and I'm already having like an issue with the bandlets rubbing into each other. I'm gonna try to show you without like flashing myself to all of Savers, but they keep like rubbing into each other and then rolling up and it is very frustrating. And I feel like I can't position them in the right way and I just walked in so I'm gonna be here for the next like few hours. So I have a feeling I'm going to be going crazy. <laughs> I've been um, adjusting myself quite a bit. As you can see, they keep like coming down like this, where when I put them on, they were like hiked up all the way to the top. So it's kind of like annoying. I just don't really think they're worth like 18 or $19 or however much they are, but so far, not going so good. So it's about mm, almost three hours later, I think. I'm just now leaving. It's very hot. There's a lot of chafing happening, unfortunately. The bandlets have been moving around so, so much. I just don't think it's worth it to like try to suspend them in midair. I'd rather just have them attached to my torso, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have to give these like a four out of 10. Like they definitely help prevent chafing, but they move around too much. So they're a no-go for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions or things that work for you or if there were any products that you're interested in trying definitely let me know in the comments below I'm gonna of course link all of these below as well so you guys can check them out or purchase them if you're interested in any of them I want to say I'd love to keep testing these for you because I love being your guinea pig I love being able to help you guys find methods that work but also like I'm in pain so, and as I mentioned at the beginning, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. And if you didn't know, Squarespace gives people a beautiful and powerful online platform from which to create your website. Squarespace allows you to link your various social media accounts to your website so you can post simultaneously to all accounts. You can choose from tons of designer and award-winning templates. These are created with modern browsers and mobile apps in mind, making their templates modern as well as beautiful. And management of your blog and its comments has never Ever been easier as Squarespace allows you to do this on the go using their mobile app. Go to squarespace.com slash Carrie Dayton to get a free trial as well as 10% off your first purchase on me. You're welcome. Don't forget to check the link in the description box below. All the info will be down there. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Help me. My thighs are on fire.